Welcome back to Great Day Washington. We've got a few cat lovers here on Great Day Washington. Our show director, Tiana Whitmer, has this lovely cat, Olive. Here she is having fun playing on the rug. And then there's my handsome boy, Benny. Look at him. If you are a cat lover, I just love him, as we all do. We love our pets. You probably know that they tend to have their own feline language, though. But what they are trying to tell you with their verbal and nonverbal clues, what is it? I'm happy to be joined live this morning by president of PETA, Ingrid Newkirk. She is the author of this new book, 250 Vital Things Your Cat Wants You to Know. Ingrid, it's so great to have you here. Oh, super to be back. All right, we all sometimes wonder what our pets are doing, right? So why do you focus on the cats? Why did this handbook need to come out for all of us? Well, a lot of people think dogs are hard to keep, but cats are easy keepers, and they're not. They're not potted plants. They're highly emotional individuals who love you, even though they don't show it exuberantly the way dogs do. So when they bat away your iPhone or jump on you when you're sleeping and try to put their uh, claw <laughs> up your nostril, they're telling you, I love you, I'm bored, I want you to play with me, and so on. Oh yeah, four o'clock every morning, Benny comes in, starts knocking stuff off the counter or chewing on something, you know, wake up, you gotta feed me. There's so many great um, things in here that we need to know, but this being the time of year of travel, Ingrid, what do you say to those that maybe wanna take their cat with them? I have so many tips. Um, there are horror stories from flying yeah. with a cat. You never, ever, ever put a cat in a cargo hold. Luggage shifts, temperatures fluctuate, it can be a disaster and you may never see your cat again. Um, if you're leaving your cat at home, if you do fly, fly the cat under the seat. Make sure she's microchipped. She's wearing a harness. If you do choose to leave your cat at home, don't put her in the vets. That's frightening to them. They can pick up a disease. Yeah, leave them at home, but choose a babysitter, a cat sitter, yeah. the way a French chef chooses vegetables without the squeezing part. Be very, very picky. <laughs> Oh, yes, they they will let you know that they are sad that you are leaving. That is for sure. Also, with this time of year, you know, we're getting flowers. We're putting poinsettias in our homes. Are those dangerous to cats? Like, should we be thinking about what the decorations are? Absolutely. There are many home hazards. I list countless ones of them in the book. But any heart leaf shape that you see, don't bring it in the home. Don't accept it as a gift. And always keep the poison control hotline number on your phone and on your refrigerator. Mm. I'll read it to you, actually. Um, it's 855-764-7661. And um, that, that's invaluable. But look at other hazards, too. Yeah. Never close the dryer do door and push that start switch unless you've checked inside. You never want that thump, thump, thump to not be a pair of sneakers, but to be your cat. And they love to hide inside dryers. What did you learn? Yeah, that's, that's a good thing to remember for sure. Um, what did you learn kind of as you were putting these tips together? Anything that really surprised you about cats and maybe the way they communicate? Well, yes. I mean, one thing is people often say my cat goes outside the litter box and they scold yes. their cat, which is as pointless as talking to Cindy Crawford about politics. It just doesn't work. <laughs> and it's rude. So there are reasons that they're trying to communicate you with to you in that way. It may be that you are being negligent about the litter box and they're fastidious. You know, they don't want to put those pristine paws and those delicate noses into something that smells. I always say don't get a self-cleaning box either because that can frighten some cats so they won't go inside and it retains the waste so they can still smell it. Um, but they may be trying to tell you who's that boyfriend or girlfriend who's just come into the house and is taking your attention away from <laughs> me, your family member, or they may be ill. They could have cystitis, and if they've got a little drop of blood in the urine, you can't see that in the litter box, and they cleverly do something outside so that you'll notice, rush to the vet, rather a vet than a regret. Oh, we've had many of those experiences, Ingrid, that is for sure. So many great things. Thank you for bringing this book to us, and thank you for being here with us this morning. We appreciate you as always. So great to see you. Lovely to see you and the cats. Oh, yes, we love sharing our little ones. Also, don't forget to get Ingrid's book, 250 Vital Things Your Cat Wants You to Know. Thank you so very much.